This is bad. It is very bad. This is as bad as bad. This is not what we were expecting from the autopsy results of Mobad's death. People are very angry and people are not happy with the outcome of this autopsy result. Just watch the video. I will come back. Just watch the video. Don't forget to comment your own take on the outcome of the result. What do you think about the result? If the husband was not displayed on leave, and when it returns, uh, everybody would have digested the uh, report uh, so that we would be able to correct that. Because I want to ask, uh, was the application submitted late? No, the application was not submitted late. But for reasons advanced or adduced by the corona, uh, we would have to leave the application until the next time. To, 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 to some people, can I go now? No, well, this is not so. The so one thing that is yeah. Cause of death unknown, does that mean the case is over? I know the, the, the case, the case is not over. Because I tell you something, the uh, report, the report is just one out of several pieces of evidence. The cause of death cannot be determined. Because we gave a lot of reasons. Uh, we said by the time they conducted the test, the body had decomposed. And that it is not possible for them to determine the cause of death. So in summary, he's saying the cause of death cannot be what ascertained. And when you say the cause of death cannot be ascertained, it means uh, it is suspicious. It is not clear. No particular reason. But it's, he, he also went further to say that uh, it could be, it may be attributed to reaction to certain drugs administered on him before he died. Again, he then qualified that again to say he does not know whether it is those drugs huh? that actually led to his death. So, like uh, the other scenario we can mention, this is an inquiry into the cause and manner of death. The other fact that we are revealed today concerning this agreement between Mubad and his wife. And also the disagreement between Mubad and the Sandari and all that. Eh? All of this came out today from the testimony of uh, one of the witnesses. But what is important is that this uh, pathologist has given his evidence today and uh, we have taken a day to examine him to ask him questions on the report. So until those questions are asked, we cannot say this is the outcome. I will just employ everybody to open their mind until we look at all the possibilities. Sir. Huh? So the public should not react sharply to this yet. Because the man who gave evidence as the pathologist is an expert. Don't react until we have seen the full report. As I speak to you, I have not seen the full report. The court has advised that we should apply for the full report. When you see the full report, all of you can read that. Yes. So go and read first. If somebody says this is the fire, this is the final verdict, he must have reasons why he says so. So look at not only the final verdict, look at the reasons he gave. For arriving at that final word before you react. You, the press, you have a lot of role to play in informing the public about what is going on here. 
the corona here has an open mind. All the lawyers here are working to ensure that we get to the bottom of this matter. And until that, and until we arrive at our destination, we will not rest. Please don't escalate the matter in the public space. The inquiry is still on. David Nowala and more represent the entertainment community. Okay. All right. Under the auspices of TNK Music Worldwide. Okay. Yes. Um, first of all, I need witnesses, 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 and um, first of all, court um, was able to take that of um, evidence of um, time boy. He gave his whole evidence, but when Kantonu Mo Nipamata gave it, which is very helpful towards the role of the corona inquest um, um, court towards the fact-finding role of the corona inquest court, and also most importantly, but most um, the much-awaited pathologist and the autopsy report came up today. And um, we're able to once shed light. Pathologist was able to shed light on the report itself. Albeit the report was dead on ascertained. However, one thing that was noted is the fact that the death was ascertained because of the level of decomposition that has happened. And um, and so 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 at this point in time, at that point in time, he could not have um, have detected some several several other things that could have been detectable ordinarily so uh, but at this day as it stands it doesn't mean that the role of the corona inquest court has um has, 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 has expired because the autopsy report was supposed to be one of the several other evidence that would help the court in its fact-finding role so we have other evidence oral evidence of other respondents and these are things that will be considered and will be analyzed by the court that's a move by it the fact that remains that it has not been compromised. The autopsy report is yet um, exposed the fact that the death is undetermined. It does not mean that the report has, does not mean that the fact-finding role of the court has been compromised. No. There are two things. That's I said. As, aside reporting, other variables were before the court for the court to analyze the matter itself and to come up with this fact-finding um, verdict. There are other things. So, pale report will show. Is it, uh, before the the, auto, um, the pathologist gave his report, he mentioned that sometimes um, um, a percentage of two to three percent. There's a percentage of two to three percent that sometimes reports might be uncertain due to factors not within the control of the states of the or, 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 of the of the pathologist. But factors, especially when it's specifically stated that factors that have to do with the composition of the body. It's mentioned the, the, the body organs could have been taken between 12 to 24 hours. 12 to 24 hours. And could have, if it was exhumed at that point in time, the report, the, 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 the report could have shown evidence because the body would not have decomposed. But you cannot help an unbanked body and that had decomposed and you know it's, it's science it's science so it does not it does not vitiate or it does not it render the effort or the ongoing corona inquest invalid it doesn't there is a process the legal process is a process it is not an automatic thing it is a process and a procedure that has to be followed so contrary to what people expect we will not just come to court today and get judgment tomorrow there's a process. So people should be to learn to wait for the process and trust in the process. There's no need um, having going back and forth and having disbelief in a process that you are you, are, you want you want you want judgment to come out from. So I, I just want to let the public know the matter is still ongoing and we are tilting towards the end. We are making progress by the day. The pathologist has come today. It has removed the fact that we have not heard anything about the report, like people have been saying before now. The report has been given. The fact that the report did not show anything does not remove the fact that the report has been given. It's fact. Okay. It's very, it's very explanatory and it's very um, elucidating too. To repay what the full and much more insight. Because we have had several other respondents before the court. His testimonies to have come to corroborate some of those, some of the facts that have been spoken, be, that have been given before, and has come to also punch out some of the facts that have been presented before the court. And I said something. All of this evidence, Mama, should subject to analysis by the court. It's all before the court. The court is a court of record. 
So all of these things are records before the court. So at the point that the coroner inquest was in court will give its verdict, all of these factors will be considered. And yes, some of these testimonies have shed more light. Light in the sense that he has come to say he is a witness to the fact that he said um, to the injury to the injury that was sustained, and he's saying that he did not. There was no injury sustained while he was there, because he was there. He was the person directly involved. So a lot of things are like a lot of facts would be all of these facts would be subject to, of course, has been subject to cross examination and much more facts have been elicited, has been elicited rather elicited from the the witness. So all of this we are moving forward. It's a progressing, and we are tilting towards the conclusion of the matter itself.